On Friday, US market closed higher Dow inches up 1.9 percent to close 455 points up, whereas Nasdaq closed 141 points up and S&P were 49 point plus. US released non-farm payroll data where 20.5 million people lost their jobs during last month, while unemployment rate was 14.7 percent against forecast of 16 percent. Now, non-farm payroll data was expected 22 million people might lost jobs, but both of the data were better than the forecasted numbers. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence isolate himself because one of his eight find COVID positive. ICIC Bank reported mixed set of numbers in fourth quarter. Profit slumped 65% versus estimates. Net interest income see a slight improvement in numbers. Bank has seen jump in provision to the tune of 5,967 crore versus 2,083 crore in the previous year. Sandeep Batra, the executive director of the bank, says that 32% of the book is under moratorium. And if you compare the numbers, profit and net interest income numbers from the uh, last year, same quarter, then we have seen 26% jump in profit and 17% jump in NII. Bank's gross slippages has seen jump around 22% for the quarter and bank has also seen a slight improvement in asset quality as gross NPA and net NPA uh, saw an improvement in 4.7% to 2.6% and if you look at the percentage of gross NPA it has also improved 42 basis point while net NPA improved 8 basis point for the quarter. Bank's management highlighted in conference call that banks has approved fundraising by debt up to 25,000 crore rupees. Deposits of the bank is at 7.7 .7 lakh crore rupees that is up 18% year on year and 7.63% quarter on quarter. Advances is at 6.45 lakh crores up 10% year on year and 1.5% quarter on quarter. COVID-19 Provision Bank has met 2,725 crore for loans under moratorium up to 31st March 2020. Sri Cement posted its quarter 4 earnings better than estimate in almost all fronts. Profit rises 45% while revenue sees a minor jump. A beta level see a jump of 8.4% while margin also expanded 240 basis point. If you compare the numbers of Sri Cement with this previous year same quarter numbers, we can see a significant improvement in all fronts. Profit rises 83% while we see EBITDA, 27% rise in EBITDA and margin also expanded to 770 basis points. SBI card posted fourth quarter numbers. Net profit stands 83.5 crore versus 249 crore last year same quarter we have seen a significant reduction in profit revenue were up 21 percent to 2510 crores compared to the last year same quarter while we have seen some improvement in ZNPA percentage 2.01 percentage versus 2.44 percentage provision coverage ratio also improved a slight 67.2 percent versus 66.48 percent. Hindustan liver will again be in limelight today because from 12th May there will be changes in indexes of the FTAC All World Index and FTAC MPF All World Index, FTAC Global Large Cap Index, and FTAC Emerging Index, where weightage of the Hindustan and liver will change and it is expected by the unconfirmed sources that maybe a 50 lakh sales will be bought between the 3 to 3.30 because that will uh, take effect on the 
12th May 2020 so it this share will be a limelight today this excel seat is of FII's derivative position in last five trading session and we can see uh, the futures put option and call option data trading data of FII segment and we can take a cue from this data first of all we'll look at the EOD end of day net future position which stands 2856 contract for the day this is end of day position published by NSE it is an index future means index future can include nifty and bank nifty as well so 2856 contract were on the long side while we can see the previous trading session data were on a short side of 443 contract this is net net position means the long position minus the short position and whatever left is the net position so net position is still on the plus side but if you look at the beginning of the uh, last week we can see 11,596 contracts were there on the longer side but as the week progressed the data see the improvement and then all of a sudden because of the expiry on the 7th May weekly expiry the data fell now a slight improvement on Friday's data but it is not much uh, data to take any cue off from here because very small quantity were on the positive side so again we need to see how the market pans out or how the addition or subtraction or any short creation by the FIS in the coming days now if you look at the put option it is almost consolidated just 4000 contracts were scored off uh, sorry 4000 contracts were added 73000 contracts were in the last day 4000 contracts were added in the put side and while if you go in the call all side 4000 contracts were added means both side long position FII had taken one on call and one on future almost 4 4000 uh, contracts were long on call and put side and in future side very minuscule positions were taken that too on a positive side because short positions were trimmed off and long position very minuscule long positions were added now if you look at the FII's cash market we can see here 1725 crore rupees were bought on the last trading session and the IIs were net seller for the day so basically we have seen that in last trading session the, the positions were consolidated uh, and not much queue is there from the FII segment this is USD INR daily chart we are looking at and we can see it has moved quite a bit from 72 to 78 now again it corrected and trying to move again up but in a very slow manner and making a rounding type type of pattern which we call rounding top pattern rounding top pattern signifies a distributive pattern in, in that case distributive pattern it has a negative implication on prices and in longer term prices moves lower now when it moves lower it again taken a support near to the previous consolidation level which generally happens if a patterns uh, break down or break up it moves up or moves down take a support near to the consolidation level and then try to move up now this last four trading session if you look at very important development is you can see here four candles three candles especially trying to move up but taking near a uh, important resistance at 76.07 so 
76.07 is a price point where the distributive kind of pattern confirms a negation. If it moves up, sustain above this, that will mark the beginning of a new trend and violate the pearl, the erstwhile distributive pattern. Now, if it does not, then what will happen? Then it will again so weakness and prices will continue to fall. From where it, the confirmation will come, 75.65 is the level from where if it sustain or closes below that level for the for any particular day that will mark the beginning of again the downtrend so important level now has become 75.65 and 76.07 so it is a 40 paise kind of level from where usdi can move up or move down so 40 paise is something like you can say it's a no man land from where uh, activities are actually consolidating moving consolidating or gaining some strength gaining some steam for you know moving near future in a big way either either side movement we can see if it breaks up from 76.07 we can see a good up move or if, if it fails to move above 76.0607 level it may we may see the prices correct to the previous low of 75 or even lower in that case the fundamental news which is still pending in Indian market is the government supporting to the industry or MSME or any kind of package that Indian government may come in the coming months or coming days now it will be very important to look at the quantum of that package if that quantum is more than what market expected on 4 lakh crore if it is more than that then uh, definitely it will be going to impact the balance sheet of the government in turn there will be impact on the USD INR we may say depreciating USD INR prices may then in that case go quite a bit up if it does not if government does not support much or does not pump any liquidity in them into the market refrain itself from giving liquidity package to industry then in that scenario we may see the prices going down it means Indian currency gaining strength in that case so the 40 passive level 75.65 76.07 kind of level will be very important to watch out in near term this is nifty's daily chart you can see here the nifty is consolidating sideways and taking a support around 9100 and it may face a stiff resistance around 9400 now this is the basic range 9400 and 9100 300 points range nifty is stuck for now and any movement beyond this range you may see a larger up move or a downside from uh, if it fails to uh, sustain 9100 so there is a 300 points move or 300 points range beyond which it may move by large so basically this has to bore into mind that 300 points is a trading point which this nifty is stuck for now This is a stock section and where we discuss some of the chart pattern which is occurring and on an ongoing basis. So this is no recommendation of buy and sell but it is just how the formation is panning out. So we can see the chart of IOC which is uh, forming almost like a W kind of formation which is we, which in technical we call the double bottom formation. How is the RSI looking at this level? So we can see the RSI is showing some kind of positive divergence because the prices approach near to the same level while the RSI refuses to move to that level. It means the momentum of the stock is showing some kind of 
weakness to go below 74 the price is very important to look at the price 74 will be important because it is a double bottom formation and any rise in prices sell again be looked very keenly in the counter we have seen the oil marketing company uh, moving lower in recent times even then we should look at from the learning and educative purposes that whether the prices in the market sustains around these significant important level this is the daily chart of SDFC life and we can see the a significant volume in last trading session well it, it was crossing the important resistance level at 519 so it will be important today for today if it maintains above 519 again and if it moves up we can see uh, jump because the same from the same around the same level in, in earlier occasion it has reacted upwards so, so these levels will act as a good significant resistance to the up move and will be important today to look at the price action this is the daily chart of Bharti infertile we can see the price activity is approaching towards the apex of the ascending triangle formation which we can see here to three one triangle and the second triangle it's approaching towards the apex of the triangle means a breakout or a breakdown is on the card now which are the important level 176 to 179 will be the important resistance of this formation and we have seen in last four days the volume activity is picking up so today's for today trading session we we need to look at 176 to 179 how the price is negotiates and if it moves up we may see a significant up move otherwise it may again the activity may again fall into the formation or it may break down from the lower levels if you find any meaningful information in this video then subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get future notification.